Have you ever wondered how much weight a double-sided tape could really support? I'm Kevin with FineTape.com. Stick around and let's test out some of these tapes and see when they fail. So what we're gonna run through today, we're gonna do some quick and dirty tests. I have four double-sided tapes here, two double-sided film tapes, a double-sided polyethylene foam tape, and a double-sided acrylic foam tape. Um, one JVCC DC4109RS, that's our least adhesive double-sided film tape. So we'll use that as a control, we'll see how quickly that fails when we try to su support some weight with it. I have SCAPA S301, that's our most adhesive double-sided film tape. This roll is a roll of 3M VHP 4950. This tape has about four times the adhesive strength, peel adhesive strength, of this roll of polyethylene foam tape, which is SCAPA SR516V. That's a 1 16th inch polyethylene foam. So what we're gonna go through today, I apply two one inch strips to these weights. And then I applied some sheet metal on top. So right now, first test we're gonna run through, this is the double-sided film tape JVCC DC4109RS. This is five pounds, and we'll try to lift it up. It's holding right now. This tape has about 29 ounces per inch of peel adhesion, so that's good. Each weight I add will add five pounds. So let's add five more pounds and see if the tape can hold up. I'm gonna lean this back a little so it doesn't fall out. These are just a standard adjustable weights. I hear it coming off a little, but this is 10 pounds. Let's. Now we're up to 15. Right, there we go. So this was DC4109RS, failed at about 15 pounds. And again, that's our least adhesive double-sided film tape that we sell, which makes sense. Not the tape you're gonna use to hold up weight. Next test will be the SCAPA SR516V. This is double-sided polyethylene foam. Now I imagine what's gonna happen here is that the foam itself doesn't have high tensile strength. The foam is probably gonna break away actually before the adhesive does, but we will see. So five pounds, it's not gonna be an issue. Let's get up to 10 pounds. Again, and I can hear that the tape is fine. It's not starting to peel like I could hear with the 409RS. Okay, that was 15. Let's get up to 20. We're at 20 pounds. Let's get up to 25. Doing good at 25. I don't hear the tape failing at all yet. So as you see, actually the adhesive didn't give, it is the foam. So now the foam is starting to peel away. And we are at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now I can still Hold it up, it's still working a little bit. A lot of people, this is the tape, a lot of people, you know, you're putting a soap dispenser in the shower. A lot of people will use a tape like SCAPA SR516V. And hopefully your soap dispenser is in 35 pounds, so not gonna be an issue. There we go. And again, like I said, it was mostly the foam itself that failed and not the adhesive. The next tape we're gonna test is the SCAPA S301. Again, our most adhesive, double-sided film tape we sell, 167 ounces per inch of peel adhesion. And if you think, a duct tape really only has 50 ounces per inch. So this is a very adhesive film, very adhesive film tape, very aggressive. So five pounds, not gonna have an issue with that. Gonna 10. This tape, because of its peel adhesion, uh, a lot of customers prefer when you're trying to bond to difficult to bond to surfaces such as fabrics and things. It's great tape for uh, if you need something thin like a film tape. OK. 
Okay. That's it. 15. Now we're going to get the 20. I could hear it coming a little bit. Okay. I think maybe we'll get, we're at 20. Probably 25 is when it's going to come, come off. We'll check that out. Ideally, too, when you apply these tapes, what I did was I did two one-inch strips on the weights, and um, I couldn't fit the clamp over, so I applied weight for about 24 hours. A couple of these tapes are coated with an acrylic adhesive, so they have a dwell time, so about one to 24 hours before the maximum bond strength is reached. I think maybe we'll get one more, but that'll be it. Let's check this out. So we're at 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. I imagine this will be failure point. Oh, it's still, this is an aggressive film tape. Let's keep on going. So 15, 20, 20, 20 35. There we go. So that failed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, between 30 and 35 pounds. The last tape we're going to go through is a VHB tape from 3M. This is their 4950. This is used for structural mounting. If you want to replace a rivet, this is the tape you're going to, to go with. Typically from 3M, you know, you'll get a 36 or 72 yard roll. We do sell our converter rewinds, so we'll sell just a five yard roll because this tape itself is going to be over hundred dollars. So you want to be able to get this tape at a more economical price point, we do offer that on the site. And instead of wasting time doing five pounds at a time, why don't we run through and start out at about 25. So I got 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, and I can't hear anything. Not, nothing is coming off on this roll, on coming off adhesive-wise. So that's 30. Let's go to 35. Again, nothing. We'll probably get to the point where I can't lift it anymore before it fails. Um, so let's take out. This will get me. 40, and I'll put in the holder too. And let's just go right to 45. Okay, so this is 45 pounds. Nothing, not coming off at all. And again, I put this on for about 24 hours. Didn't use clamps, I just put a heavier weight on top. Not coming off. I brought some vice clamps, see if I can get this off. Not sure I'll be able to. Let's, uh, Uh, let's try this one, a little more surface area. Nothing. This tape, as I said, people use this to, to mount fixtures on outside of buildings. It replaces a rivet. So, not sure if I will be getting this off my weights, but again, a lot of people, you know, it's a $100 roll of tape, but we do rewind it to a five yard roll. So. If you need to hold up something, 3M4950 is a great, a great VHB tape to look at. So to learn more or to purchase the tapes we talked about here today, or pretty much any tape you can think of, check us out at finetape.com.